ladies, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, AZ Nia Williams. How are y'all doing? Hope you guys are good. Hope you guys are fine. If you're new to this channel, kindly click on the subscription button. Click on the notification bell to let you know whenever I post any new video. Okay, guys, there's a whole lot of things that I am seeing on the internet that AZ Nia does not understand. And I'm going to be starting with this picture of Hermes and his Labu, or one of the collective, the individuality of the collective of his Labu. People of God, what is this? <laughs> like, what is this? I know, okay, to be on a very, to, to, to defend Hermes, I can say he's, I don't know, he's into nude, I don't know. Is it nude ads? <laughs> I like, is there a name for this? But what is this? What do you mean this? Imagine if it was a female ex big brother Niger housemate that did this. Ah, hey, hey. hair would have frozen over. But <laughs> people have got a beg. I beg. Help me understand what exactly is going on here. Because Ezine does not understand this. Now, away from this one, let's talk about our princess of Africa. Now, I came across the video yesterday, and to be honest, I've been wondering, like, if you watch this video closely, you're going to see something. Like, you're going to see something that is a dangling something. People have got, is that Ebola? Because I don't understand. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Like, things I see with this, my eyes on this internet. Like, what is all this? Hey! <laughs> as if that one is not enough people of god so i came across this advice congratulations you know two cross and liquorous you know um they are in this advert for slick vape if you are into smoking and all those things there's even though they said it's not real smoke oh, but for me oh, as long as you are you know puffing out smoke you still smoke sha anyways so they did the ad and people of god hey do you see the tongue action like the tongue was mm -mm, uh -uh. Oh, this one, a part of adverts, so like that brings me, you know, to the whole um rumor that these two people are actually dating. Did they do some kind of cross multiplication? I mean, this one's ex was liking the other one's ex, and the, hey, <laughs> big brother and I, that children will never cease to amaze me. Now, do you also know one thing that is amazing that I saw yesterday is this beautiful picture of Maria and her mom. Like, when I saw this, I'm like, Kim Kardashian who? Kim Kardashian who? Like, see, let's leave it, Jare. Like, Maria took the beauty from her mom's jeans. Like, what is this? Look at this beaut. This is a beaut. La beaut. Eh, eh, Castilla the beauty. This is the real Castillo the beauty. Eh? Like, the mom is beautiful. And, of course, the red lip. I mean, I'm sold. I'm sold. I beg. How much is Maria's bride price at this moment? Like, I need to come and pay her bride price. For Oga Kevin goes ahead to pay it. And, oh, talking about Oga Kevin. I mean, last weekend, you guys noticed that he was out partying with Kubana Chief Priest. Yes, yeah, so the same Kubana Chief Priest. I was like, oh, no, 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 no. Why are you doing it to my sister? No, 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 no. Ah, people of God, eh? money talks and bullshit works. Yes, yeah, so in this life, have money. In this life, what have money? Money stops nonsense. I mean, look at Kubernetes Prince posting him all up in on his, you know, social media, um, whatever pages. I'm like, ah, uh ah, -uh. this was the same Kubernetes Prince I was running his mouth some few years ago. Anyways, away from all that. So some of your face will be in Ghana tomorrow for the unveiling of the Jenny's Glow office in Accra, Ghana. The likes of Angel, the likes of Real World Ripikin, the likes of White Money, Nengi, and also will be there. And alongside other celebrities will be there. So my Ghanaian people, this is another opportunity for you guys to go see some of your faves. I heard other Ghanaian celebrities are also going to be there. So mm, make sure you take pictures and have fun. Make sure you also buy your because ah, imagine going there just to go and see somebody and you're not buying. Ah. Anyway, talking about tomorrow. Eh, eh. 
Do you guys know what tomorrow is? Tomorrow is the 10th of January. Mm -hmm. And that 10th of January is the birthday of the one and only bad bitch. Yes, yeah, so bad bitch of Big Brother Niger season 7. Now, according to Chi Chi, she put out that she's going to be turning 23 years old. Yes, guys. So she put this out and said, I was conceived out of grace 23 in few hours. Ah, like baby girl is, you know, she's feeling the, um, she's feeling the birthday. You know, there's something that comes with birthdays, especially when you are at a place where you are happy with yourself that you come this far. Now, as we are all celebrating Chi Chi O, Alison now put out this cryptic tweet where she said, 23 my ass. <laughs> I'm like, Alison, please use your art button. Use your at bottom because at this point we need to know who owns this sub who is the owner of this sub but the streets are saying that this sub belongs to barbie <laughs> they are saying that her age is not her age yes yeah, so that she looks well older than a 22 years old some people are saying that back in the house she said she was 21 years old even though me i checked her and i saw 22 sha but they're like ah how can this bear be claiming 22 going to 23? How bad now? How can she be 22 going to 23? When she looks older than Diana, yes, it's not my word, so it's there on Twitter. Go under her, you know, go under her tweet and you're going to see it. But me, I'm saying, even if Chichi comes out and say, okay, oh, she's 16 years old, I'll be 16 years. I'm going to be like this, yo. If she decides to be 316 for the rest of her life, then so be it. Abby, if she says, oh girl, she's going to be a 12-year-old. No, wahala. At least, she, it's not as if she's contesting for any political post now. And hey, now that one now, we'll make a Zine talk. But as for this one, entertainment, I mean, everybody's allowed to have a football age or a real age if she says that's her age. Let's not stress it. Let's just enjoy the bad bitch birthday. And I heard her fans are planning something big for her. So I cannot wait. You know me, I'm a lover of good things. And you know, Chichi is a lover of beautiful things. So, you know, we are waiting for tomorrow because, oh God, the crap. Uh, uh. Now, away from all that. So the other day, Ella Swag was on a live stream and some of, you know, so many people joined on his live stream. So one of the people that joined was Amaka. Yes, guys, Maki Billions herself. Now, Amaka joined. Now, through the course of the conversation, you know, Ella Swag asked her, is there anything you said in the house that you like to take back or you regret? And baby girl was like, oh, um, I like to take back, you know, what I said about beauty. That's when I said, oh, that, you know, um, um, Miss Nigeria should take, Abi, yeah, Miss Nigeria should take away her crown, blah, blah, blah. And when I came out, you know, and Beauty was reminding me of what I said. I was like, oh, I didn't even remember I said that. I like to take that back. That was cruel and all that. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> what is this? What is this? You know what? I'm going to play the video for you guys. The, the time when um, I said that um, they should take back that. It will be the time um, I think I said that they should, that Miss Nigeria should take Beauty's crown away. But I mean, I never meant it that way. And it was just, I don't know, and I already apologized to her. So if I, I wouldn't, even when she told me, I was like, did I ever say this? Like, I was so cruel to say, like, it was just a, I mean, I would love to erase mm -hmm. that part. Then, mm -hmm. I held, I held. was played out today again where you know she was looking very beautiful she was doing her makeup she went on an instagram live and then um i think people were asking her questions some people were complimenting her of course she should be complimented because baby girl has been looking so beautiful ever since she has the big brother house and i think somebody was like oh since fina has unfollowed you why don't you return the favor and still unfollow her and she was like you know what i don't even think about that i don't even see that truly lit a dark room you are beautiful in and out. Someone said, Kukuma go and unfollow Fina Jerry. There's no need for that, my dear. I don't even think about things like that. I, I guess you shouldn't even bother you about things like that. It's not important thing. Hmm? 
Was that you don't know how positive you made me make people feel about their body. Your confidence is the best. I pray you experience all the form of happiness. Oh, oh Jesus. I love fans that used to pray for me. People that pray for people. That's all wish me. I'm telling you, you have a special place in heaven now. If somebody know they give you face, right? I mean, why don't you just return the favor? If somebody unfollows you, you unfollow back. It's simple. And the person has made it a point to say, okay, unfollow people remain unfollowed. Isn't it also right for you to do the same? But anyways, I'm not in Amaka's heart. Maybe she has such a good heart, you know, that, you know, Amaka has become a preacher of love these days. I'm super happy for her growth. So I'm happy for her growth. <laughs> yes, guys. This whole um shade showing between ex brother niger housemate venita and blogger stella damikokos now you all know that stella damikokos um interviewed um alex ekubo's ex fancy achalono i mean it was like almost a 10 part interview where she was spilling and spilling and spilling now venita has had enough of this so she tweeted and said this girl, Sha, won't be easy for future partners to build trust with you at all. Almost every woman in this world has at some point been deceived, betrayed, cheated on. It's wrong, but nobody died. There are no kids, property, or legalities involved. What is actually your motive? Now, this is Venita that put this out. Now, Stella Demikokos has had enough of that, so she decided to answer her. Um, without also calling her name like she didn't call um, Francis' name. She put this out on her Instagram page and said, when you run out of your marriage crying domestic violence and lack of funds, you got all the support you needed online to move on and then you went into the house and came out as a celeb. One would think you would have the wisdom to either keep quiet like your co-celebs have done or reach out to a hurting and broken young woman and advise her, but instead you do a post telling her no one would trust her again for telling her side of the story. So let me ask, you spill things on your ex, so does anyone still trust you is she not better than you what was the reason for that demeaning post so your pain was different better than hers you had the right to the interviews you granted but she does not shame on you same way you did not mention names in the same way i didn't face your can of worms and let live now venita decided to respond and said when the devil comes you will be at weakest point devil will deceive you offer you a shoulder and easy ways out all just to use and exploit your pain they relish in it, eat it up, thrive on it, profit from it. They will encourage you to empty your vessel that Jesus has been pouring into. Hey, hey. my savior Jesus, don't see things. Anyways, convince you the weight is too much. Devil will tell you to offload and rest. Thank God I said no when I was approached and I'm nobody's victim. Amen and amen. My numbers are for me only. So in other words, Venita is saying that blogger Stella Damikokos is the devil here. Now, Stella Damikokos was not done. She decided to reply Venita and said, Madam Big Brother Niger, stop calling Jesus, you liar. She actually wrote Jesus, you liar in caps. She also went on to say, you begged, that is in capital letter again, like emphasizing that there was a begging that was done. Hmm. For an interview and I arranged a story for you before you got into the house. Okay, <laughs> you told me your biggest desire is to be popular. So which devil are you referring to? You bloody kind of worms. Face your lane and leave me alone. I'm ready for you if you decide to do this. You wanted out of your marriage and you got it. I recall everything you told me. So I'm wondering where exactly you became so holy and started a motivational post. You ran out of your marriage straight into a relationship. The young woman you called that did not, did not. Preacher, preach on. I'm a journalist who had made mistakes, but I work now with empathy. Do you? I await your next post. And please note that I'm not messy or the other ones you try to mess up. Next, ever since Stella made this post, Venita, I don't think she has responded. So I'm actually waiting for her response. But in the meantime, let's talk about this. Now, being somebody that is privy to what happened when Venita's marriage crashed, I can tell you for 100% that Venita, mm, she also spilled. 
Yes, I remember. And if you listen, you know, very well to what I read about what, you know, blogger Stella Demkokos put out, she was the one that helped her concord the story that she used to, you know, escape her marriage and be able to get into the Big Brother Niger house. You know, she got into the house and she became very, very popular. Now, some of you will be like, oh, she was an actress. Yeah, she was acting as Mimi. Um, Oh, that even reminds me. She was even acting with Alice Ekubo then. They were really close then. Oh, my goodness. Now you, I understand. But my question is, why is she so hostile to other women? I remember she did something like that to V. Like, it was a part or so between she and V you know, concerning her cousin Neil. At some point, Neil had to even cut her off that she had to, like, even come out to say that the car that Neil bought was not a brand new car. Like, you guys, have you forgotten? Now, my question is, why is she always like this? Like, why is she always against other women? And now, looking at the closeness that she has with Alex, in my head, I'm thinking, if Alex is wrong or right, that's not, you know, the bone of contention here. Thing is, it's not looking like she's trying to defend her friend. My own is, mm, if you have a problem with the girl spilling, there's also a way you can handle this. People gave you a listening ear. You know, but her coming out with this whole gist, I'm like, wow. 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 Anyways, I await her, you know, to respond to um, um, what Stella Damikokos put out. But then again, the whole story of her messing... Oh, what was, what was that that Stella Damikokos put out? The last sentence. She said, um, I await your next post. And please note, I am not messy or the other ones you try to mess up. Wow. Now, somebody asked or somebody commented and said, oh, I, she didn't think that, you know, um, Venita tried to mess um, messy up or something like that. And she was like, be, don't believe everything you see online or something like that. I didn't steal that close. Anyways, whatever is going to come out of this gist, let it come out of because isn't it is out for gist. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section. As for Fancy and Alex, there was a leaked um, phone conversation. And to be honest with you guys, I'm tired of them. If you people want me to post it, please let me know in the comment section and I'll gladly post it for you. But if you're as tired as I am, let me also know, yeah? Let's just move on from this. On that note, I'd like to say a very big thank you to every one of you for being part of my channel if you've not already subscribed you know what to do can you click on the subscription button click on the notification bell to let you know whenever i post any new video until i come your way again i remain your darling girl azine williams <laughs>